Hello dreamers, how are you? Today I'm ready to show you something new, really interesting. And I'm talking about this sequence here. In this scene I use the new parallax system that I tested and it works really well. And I will definitely use it for other parts of the movie in the future because it gives a really incredible 3D effect. It's an evolution of what I have already shown you in a previous tutorial of mine. Do you remember this scene? What I did in the new project is something new because in addition to creating a 3D effect for the ground, I developed a system to give vertically to the background with a new element. Before finding out how I did it, I invite you to watch the video until the end if you are interested. The channel is growing and I hope that my tutorials in addition to being useful to you stimulate your creativity. If any of you are creating something using that I explained, let me know in the comments. I also invite you to activate the bell if you want to stay updated with my new videos. Like and... To explain how this new parallax system works, first I have to show it to you from a little farther away, because it's really big. We find a floor below which is used to create the ground. But the really interesting are these solar panels that gives verticality to the scene. But how can we make them move as if they were connected to the ground? We have to go to Procreate first we will do an exercise to replicate the scene. Let's go to Procreate as canvas size. As usual, I recommend something very large for a perfect definition. As a first step, I make the ground level. I take this light brown color and fill the canvas. Next step will be to create a vertical and horizontal lines that will serve as a reference on dreams. To draw them, I take the vector brush and black color. It doesn't matter the distance between the lines, the important thing is that they are straight. <laughs> Obviously, I'm wrong. I could have activated the drawing guide, but I'm too lazy to go into the menu and set the grid. Ok, great. Now the horizontal lines. I had two pairs of horizontal lines with two different colors. We'll see why on Dreams later. First pair with red colors, drawing them more or less at this distance. One and two. OK. For the second pair we take this blue and draw like this. Now that we have the plane, the ground on which the solar panels will have to be placed, we need the solar panels. For this exercise we'll do them in a very simple way. With the dark brown color I fill the screen and voila! Then we'll fix the shape on Dreams. About Dreams, at this point we can import the project, we have the levels we need for the animations. Once the project has been imported into Dreams, we can create the animations. We need to put the shape at the beginning of the timeline in the right perspective. Let's add a distortion keyframe. I want the plane to have a perspective as if we were looking at it from above. I'm doing the exercise within the limits of the screen, to help you understand how it works. But obviously in the final scene the edges should not be visible, they should be out of the frame. By distorting the plane we can obtain a result like this as a very interesting 3D effect. Let's move on to the next keyframe. 
decide carefully first what the duration of the sequence will be. After making changes, it could become a long and difficult process. I set the second keyframe at 10 seconds. I distort the shape like this. The goal is to create a parallax plane movement so the bottom part will move faster than the top part, as if we were flying over the surface. Imagine all the possible uses of a system like this. Unleash your creativity. But the key element that will give the scene a much more three-dimensional look we are going to add now. To remember that series of solar panels, I'm going to resize the shape first like this. And do you remember the pair of red and blue lines? We needed them as a reference. The black lines instead will help us to put the shape in the right perspective. I'm already trying to place it on this line to help me but the magic will be created only with the distortion tool. Let's try to put the shape between those two red lines. Ok. Now I can add a distortion keyframe at the beginning. and distort the shape in perspective like this. Now I will have to distort the shape again at 10 seconds. With my eyes I try to follow where that black line will be positioned, in space, in order to move the shape to that point. Easier to make than said. <laughs> I'll have to see where this point on the plane is positioned at 10 seconds, so I can get the solar panel in the correct position. Let's try to follow the line with our eyes. The point will be this, the shape will have to be positioned here. I can distort the shape at this point, the shape is a little bit tilted, so I will have to take into account the correct perspective. Ok, great. Now let's do a test. The idea that it gives us uh, of three-dimensionality by developing the horizontal movement of the plane combined with the verticality of the panel is wonderful. To make the scene perfect I can also add the shadow that is projected on the ground of the panel. Copy and paste the shape onto a track below. I add an HSB filter to darken the shape. Delete this, ok. So let's assume the light comes from this point. I don't think I have ever drawn a sun beautiful like this. Now I can distort the shadow of the panel according to the direction of the sun. At first keyframe and second one. Ok. To make the scene more organic, at this point I lengthen the shadow. The important thing is that it remains with the right perspective on the ground. The final effect is truly remarkable. We can obviously insert other panels to make the effect even more incredible. It's a new parallax system that I studied for this project. It took me a while to get to this result, especially the search for elements that work with this type of animation. 
I had the dynamics of the terrain ready to be exploited in a more creative way, so I developed the verticality with the addition of solar panels. Dreams is perfectly suited to be used as a 2.5D software. Adding camera movements to the entire group, our scene comes to life. I recommend you go and recover my videos on camera movements. They are really interesting if you haven't seen them yet and from there you could get other interesting ideas for your projects. Adding camera movements and maybe a robot flying inside, as you see, will make the scene really cinematic. Obviously, you need to practice a lot to get certain results and as always, I recommend you to always observe what surrounds you. Take inspiration and try to put on the iPad, in this case, everything that comes to mind. the hand of another fantastic tutorial. I hope I was helpful and inspired for your future projects. The parallax effect that gives us a fake 3D effect here is truly incredible. And this makes us understand how much power there is already inside dreams. We just have to learn to discover it. And when update 2 arrives, there will probably be lots of new things to invent. I invite you to ask me in the comments any questions. Thanks for watching, ring the bell, put like and 